Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Julie and um, I'm going to be showing you today um, the designer's choice number 15. It makes a little um, box like one of those. And, and this one here. I think it's called um, Delicate Daisy. Um, I do like these little die sets from the designer's choice. Um, yeah, so you, you get a lot of dies in there. You get two designs, um, detailed designs to go in, and two. So you get a straight edge one, and then one with a little crinkle bit round the outside. So you can decide which design to use. Boy, you could do. I don't know, whatever. And also, you get like um like a tatty rose thing there and also I think these two bits here are um, I haven't used them to be honest but they're um, little sentiments as well um, and that one there so that's the designer's choice number 15 only available for this month so you, you cut out six of those three with the little slits in three with the non slits two bases six little petal shapes so I'm going to glue the last one on let's just move that. I hope everybody's okay. Let's just move those out of the way. There. And glue these together. I've um, put red liner tape on this. And oh, there's a little pesky bit in there. Look at that. Um, because this one here, it's got like a little heart in there in the design set. So I thought um, this would be ideal for Valentine's Day. So the other two colours that I done it in were like spring light colours, and. The um, one with the purple top, I put vellum over the top of the purple colour and um, I use my a glitter marker to um, disguise where I put the glue. What you all been doing? Been uh, crafting, I hope. Right. Now we're just going to put these bits on here to um to do these. You will um you get like that little piece there. So you get a straight edge one and a curly one. So you need six of those. But if you're doing these ones, um, you need six of um, the solid shape. And then you'll need another solid shape to cut the detail in if you want to put detail in. So you'll be cutting like, um, what, 12. Up. 
What does that look? Oh. I'll put that on rather crooked. Silly person. No, I can't. We're going to have to leave it. That's because I closed the curtain up a little bit, you know, because I thought it was too bright. Because the sun's trying to shine. Woohoo! Never believe it, would you? Right, look at that. It's really crooked. Oh. Right, let's start off with those ones. Keep these separate so you keep your solid bit there and your ones with a little slit in. Keep them together. Don't muddle them up so you know where you're going. So like I say, I've put um, tape on these. So if you've got a slit there, then on the opposite side you may need um, one without a slit. And also this one will be without a slit as well. Just take it up to the score line and press down. So the next one will be one with a slit. Oh. Down on the floor it goes. <laughs> I've got a bin underneath the desk. It's filled up too quickly. I could do with a bigger one. Right, so what we got there? We need another. That's it. So we've got it. Another slit there. I try to do that one as well. That's it. So now we're just going to take the tape off. I'm not going to take it all off. This way, hold back. Okay. 
yes, fold back all your score lines as well because the dice do have score lines in there. So you will need to score all your lines. So the, the dies come with cut lines and score lines. Let's just bend that that way onto that one. So it's just a matter of putting, taking these little ones together. Well, I can get the red line I take off. Sorry, you can't see. Looking at a blank square of desk. Let's just do um, this one as well. I hate that stuff. together and I won't lie the um, the top bit um, is a little bit tricky um, try not to um, Pull it through, ease it through, because um, they're going to go through um, one another in a minute. So I'm just taking off the backing. These ones. That's a fun black car, isn't it? Hmm. Right. Let's get these bent over. Get that bent over that way as well, and then we can get that together like that and I must say if you're using um, the, de de the de deluxe glue um, it doesn't take very long to dry anyway Does, you're not sitting there forever and ever holding because I did glue my first two so it doesn't take forever Right, so now we're going to do the next here. I did bend, bend all these little wings back but when I laid it flat of course to stick on because it's easier to stick on your pieces when if they're flat um, don't try and do it when they're not flat Just taking off the red liner tape, the lining of it, or the backing rather. Let's keep that one.
take this one off as well. See if I can snip that little bit off. Pesky stuff. Got a bit there and all. I was frightened I was going to chop off the um, card. That's why I didn't like going too close to the card when I was. So you're just bringing those two little pieces together. So now you come to let's take these down a little bit. That's all right. Right. So one of these is going to go through here. That's not. <laughs> I didn't take that one off there. Thought that's. That's still open there. Why is that still open? That's it. I thought I'd finished. Alright, let's try again. So one of these is going to come through here and you need to get these little circle pieces, those pieces, in there like that. Uh, let's do the next one. And it does get, when you move to the last one, I found like... Um, it does, they start to get a little bit tight. There you go. And Victoria on the design team said, don't put too much um, heavyweight card on the top of these because remember it's got to go through that slit there. Now this is where you have to be a bit careful because I nearly tore mine. You have to do a little bit of wriggling. There you go. It doesn't take it long, does it? Once you've done all the cutting out and all the other bits like that. Now, to make it nice on the bottom, we're just going to glue this on the bottom. These little um, sets are good, a good value for money. There, I quite like that. I like it in red and black. So there you go. Let's move all this. Um, tape out the way. <laughs> so it's a designer's choice number 15 Delicate Daisy from Tonic. That's it. Okay. 
that's the three I've made. Let's bring it that way, that's it. There you go. So, just a quick video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Now I've got some new goodies to play with, so when I've done something with those, I'll be showing those as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye for now.